Let's learn about adapter B for the Gentech. Uh, used to be called GE or Riga Beloit, but now it's called Gentech 3.0 series motors. This is a 3.0 series motor. Uh, like the other motors before it, it has two bolts that allow you to separate this portion. Um, you may find that the module itself is available as a replacement if your winding section is okay. You might look to that. What I'd recommend is that you go watch the tutorial for adapter A for a lot of the hints about how to use this particular adapter. There's very little difference between how to use the adapter in real life. I'm going to highlight the, the differences. How do you connect it? This is a 3.0 motor. It will not work very well bench testing this motor out of its environment with a, uh, with a scroll and a fan because the motor will, it, it's like a governor, it has a governor built into it so it'll speed up and slow down, speed up and slow down. It needs a load on it to actually operate that motor well. This particular motor uh, unlike the 2.0 and the 2.3's which can be tested in as many as five different speeds this motor while it can run at more than one speed can only be tested with a tool like ours or like any of the tools out there with only one speed possible um, normally again this would be in the uh, units cabinet that you'd be doing this but we're just showing you this for clarification you would disconnect the signal harness which is a four pin connector remember the five pin connector is for power on these you'd plug the adapter B into there make sure that your universal zebra then has adapter B plugged into it you would take the magnetic overlay card that comes with adapter B and place it in here and it's going to tell you that there's only one speed to test on and it just says test so if this were hooked up and you threw this switch into the up position and had the others off it would test this motor at one speed it doesn't give you as much help as some of the other motors which allow you to test at multiple speeds so that you can see what's going on to a system at those speeds but it does help you eliminate the motor as a potential uh, problem when you're troubleshooting a system that doesn't seem to be working properly. That's it.